Hustle fam. Today we are making keto friendly bacon wraps and what we need is we need six eggs. We need about 18 strips of bacon and so we're using our homemade smoked bacon that we have here. You need two cups of shredded cheese. You need a tablespoon of butter. You need two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. You need a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and you need salt and pepper to taste. So what we're going to do is we've already cracked our six eggs. We are going to add our heavy cream, our salt, pepper, and garlic powder to our eggs. We're going to scramble them in a pan and once we get those scrambled I'll be back to show you what to do. Alright we have scrambled our eggs and we have them in the skillet making our scrambled eggs. We've added our salt, our pepper, our garlic powder, and we've added our heavy cream. So now we are just going to cook our eggs and then put them in a bowl and set them to the side and I'll be back to show you the rest in just a minute. Alright Russell fam, we have scrambled our eggs. They're sitting right here and I have a spoon in here and I've got a spoon in the cheese so I don't cross contaminate anything. And what I'm doing is I'm fixing to lay out three strips of bacon and you want them to overlap each other and then what you're going to do and here again I'm wearing my plastic gloves like I always do when I cook with and I'm just going to slide these off real quick there's one of them and I'm going to take a little bit of egg and I'm going to put it in here if y'all can see yep yeah, y'all can see all right we're going to put it right in there and then we're going to take some of our cheese and we're going to sprinkle it in our wrap, just sprinkle it on top of the cheese, I mean the cheese on top of the egg, alright, and it doesn't take much because what you're going to do is you're going to wrap all this up and you want of it, most of it in one area so it's easier to wrap. And I'm going to wrap it and show you what it looks like. We're going to start down here at the bottom and we overlapped to make it all stick together and sometimes it'll fall out a little bit so just kind of stuff it back in there depending on your bacon. You want to kind of get thinner bacon because thick bacon is hard to do this. So you just roll it all up and see how it's rolled like that and it's all rolled up and then we're going to tuck it back in. And then you're going to take it and you're going to put it over here on your pan that's going to go in the oven because we're going to bake it. Uh, so preheat your oven at 400 degrees and I usually bake it for about 20 minutes, but there again, it depends on your oven, so you just want to bake it until your bacon is done. So I'm just going to put it over here on my rack. I hope you don't, I can't see that. Let me show you. Take my glove off. We put it right here on our rack, and I'm going to roll some more, and I'll be back in just a minute. All right, Russell fam, I had 20 pieces of bacon, and the recipe calls for 18, but I had 20. So I was able to make one, two, three, four, five, six of our bacon wraps plus a little one over here that I used with the two little pieces that were left. You see how they're all rolled and they're all stuffed. Let's see if you can get in there. See how they're stuffed with the eggs and the cheese? We are going to put them in the oven at 400 degrees and I'm going to bake them for about 20 minutes. It may not take that long just depending on your oven so make sure to check them. Um, you can fry them in a, in a skillet if you want to. That's the recipe that um, I have read from. It says fry them in the skillet. I've done that. They tend to fall apart a lot, so I prefer baking them in the oven. So I will show you what they look like when they come out. All right, we are back. They have been baking in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. And see how they broke apart a little bit, but they are, I'm sitting here letting them cool off a few minutes and drain a little more grease off of them and then we're going to put them on a plate and cut into them and I'll be back when we do that. Alright Russell fam, here is the finished product on our plate with our kale to go along with our keto diet. Thanks for watching this video. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and to smash that uh, bell notification so you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. Please make sure to like this one and leave us a comment of your favorite keto recipe. Have a great day. Bye.